Bowsted Plantations has announced the resignation of its CEO Zainal Abidin Sharif effective tomorrow. According to its filing with the local boards, Zainal Abidin is exiting the group to pursue other interests. He has helmed Bowsted Plantations since July 12, 2021. Prior to his stint at the Plantations Group, Zainal Abidin had served as TDM's Group CEO, Chief Executive of Incorporated Society of Planters, Felcross CEO and CFO, and Chamara Palmia Holdings' CFO. In the interim, while the board identifies a suitable candidate to fill the position, Fahmi Ismail will take over as acting CEO until further notice. Currently non-executive director, he is to be redesignated to executive director effective tomorrow. Formerly Bowsted Plantations CEO from 2014 until 2018, Fahmi is also Bowsted Holdings Group Finance Director and so the company believes his broad experience and knowledge in the industry will ensure smooth leadership transition and business continuity for the plantation division of the group. Shares in Bowsted Plantations ended unchanged at 71 cent today, giving the oil palm planter a market capitalization of 1.59 billion ringgit. Year to date, the counter has risen 9.23%. TNG Digital is expanding its touch-and-go e-wallets cross-border payment capabilities to mainland China in collaboration with Alipay Plus operated by Ant Group. Touch-and-go Group said its app is the first Malaysian e-wallet that can be used for payments in mainland China. TNG Digital Chief Executive Alan Nee said in a statement that this augurs well for all its users travelling there as they will enjoy the ease of making cashless payments and in Ringgit as well. He said the company expects users to experience the same seamless convenience of using Touch & Go e-wallet in mainland China as they would in Malaysia and with the assurance that their transactions are safe and secure. Touch & Go e-wallet users can conduct cross-border payments where Alipay Plus's QR code is displayed. The statement said the service is also available in Singapore, Japan, South Korea, Britain, Italy, France and Germany. TNG Digital was founded by Touch and & Go and Ant Group in 2017. Former Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Raza was referred to as Transformers protagonist Optimus Prime or OP in Blackberry Messenger or BBM chats between fugitive financier Lo Tek Joe and XM Bank relationship manager Joanna Yu in 2014. Yu was testifying in the 1MDB tunnel trial in the Kuala Lumpur High Court. Lead prosecutor Datuk Sri Gopal Sri Ram had shown you the BBM chats between her and Joe Lo from December 8, 2014, one of which said, Tell him OP said they will likely close the account by end December due to his behaviour. Asked who was OP, you said it was Najib and that it stood for Optimus Prime, a codename given by Joe Lo. She also testified that Jolo had reiterated many times to keep Najib's accounts confidential and that she had told him that foreign exchange transactions couldn't be hidden from Bank Negara Malaysia. Yu was asked about another BBM message in May 2014 from Joe Lo, which informed her that Big Boss had just called him, informing him that 15 American pies were coming in. She said she took it that it meant Najib had called Joe Lo and that the 15 American pies referred to 15 million US dollars. In the end, the money had to be transferred in pounds, she said, as Wells Fargo Bank wanted more details when it came to transfers concerning US dollars, which Joe Lo was not prepared to give. The Naga National TNB is weighing the sale of a minority stake in a planned renewable energy unit to raise up to 1 billion US dollars or 4.74 billion ringgit to help fund its expansion into the sector, a Bloomberg report said, citing sources. According to the report, people with knowledge of the matter said TNB has asked banks to submit proposals and could raise $300 million to $1 billion from potential investors. It's Sources said TNB hasn't picked a financial advisor yet and that deliberations are ongoing with no guarantee of a deal. 
In September, The Edge Malaysia Weekly reported that TNB was working on corporatizing its new energy division in the next 12 to 18 months and was looking at bringing in new investors to take up a minority stake. The report said the new energy company, with a global generation capacity of 491 megawatt peak from solar and 165 megawatts from wind and growing, is eyeing new equity of around $500 million within that period and up to $1.5 billion in 2022 to 2025. TNB's Chief New Energy Officer, Muhammad Zahiri Muhammad Hashim, had told The Edge that the group looks forward to raising fresh capital at the new energy company level, with the other option being to sell down direct stakes and assets bought at the operational stage. Medical testing company Pathology and Clinical Laboratory Malaysia is considering selling its business in Malaysia, which could fetch about 200 million US dollars or 948.8 million ringgit in a transaction, said a Bloomberg report citing people with knowledge of the matter. PathLab, as the company is known, is working with an advisor on the potential divestment, the people reportedly said. They also reportedly told Bloomberg that while the sale process hasn't formally started, some buyout firms and hospital operators have expressed initial interest. The report said deliberations are ongoing and there is no guarantee that PathLab will proceed with a deal. PathLab Chief Executive Officer Marcus Kum said in a response to a Bloomberg News query that the company receives various inquiries and proposals from interested parties from time to time and reportedly declined to comment further. PathLab, which offers health screenings, blood tests and runs medical laboratories, has more than 70 branches in Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, Hong Kong and Cambodia. <music> 